doing? So when I squat, you do tail workouts? Is that what you do? And move the tail. And dying down. Happy Saturday, everybody. Me and Lucas have just driven an hour and a half down to our old stopping grounds in Anaheim to get my hair done. Yay! Yay! Because for some reason in the LA area, I can't find a single hairdresser that can do my hair right. They keep turning it orange, which is not good. So I decided to come back to my old hairdresser in Anaheim and have her do it because no one else could do it. So we drove an hour and a half just to get my hair done. Crazy, but it's going to be worth it. What up? So Chelsea's inside the mall. I'm out in the parking lot. Chelsea's in there getting her hair done. I'm out here in the car listening to the Cardinals game on the radio stressing. I'm sweating. Not because it's hot and I have the windows rolled up for some reason. I don't know why I left the windows rolled up. It's dangerous, kids. Don't do that. I'm sweating because this game is super stressful. It's one to nothing in the seventh inning. If the Cardinals win this, they go up two to nothing in the series on their way back to here, to LA, which would be awesome. Crazy. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing, just sitting out here in the parking lot. I was going to, like, walk around and entertain myself, but instead I'm subject subjecting myself, that's hard to say, sub subjecting myself to this stress of listening to this game on the radio. Because there's something about baseball on the radio that you can't see it, and you just have to wait to hear what the announcer is saying to figure out what's going on. It's just like that added element of suspense. I love it. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing. One to nothing, bottom of the seventh. Hopefully, next time I talk to you guys, I'm still in a great mood. All right, here we go. They're going into the bottom of the eighth. Cardinals up, one to nothing, which means no matter what the Cardinals do in the bottom of the eighth, score or not score, they're going to go to the ninth inning with a chance to win the game. Oh, man, I love postseason baseball, but it stresses me the crap out. Anyway, you can't help but love it, though, as long as your team's winning, of course. Anyway, all right, got to listen. See you in a bit. Oh boy. Andre Ethier is two outs. Top of the ninth. The Cardinals up by one. Out. One more out to go. These guys are not just throwers. Oh They've man. One. Strike one, baby. Man, yes. it's 101 mile an hour. Strike two. Baseball. Strike two. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Celebrating in the parking lot. Running laps in the parking lot. Yes. That's right. People saw me, and I don't care. Celebrating a victory in Orange County. Cardinals up two to nothing. Yes! 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 Yeah! Okay, now it's time to go inside, because I've had to go to the bathroom for like the past half hour, but I couldn't leave the car, because it was too stressful and exciting. So now I'm going to go take care of business. I wonder if it's dangerous if I wear my Cardinals hat around. I don't care. Okay, look, there's Chelsea. Come on, wave. Wave. There it is. They spotted me, gave me funny looks, so I'm out of there. Railroad crossing. Gotta wait. Okay, so I'm killing time while Chelsea is getting her hair done. And to kill time, I'm in Walmart doing this shopkick thing. I know Chelsea's probably mentioned it a couple times. It's where you get points for like walking in stores and scanning stuff, and you can use those points towards like gift cards, Target, stuff like that. So I'm in Walmart and I am in an awkward aisle to be by myself in. I don't know if you can see behind me or right there. Baby stuff and diapers. But there's a lot of points in here, man. You scan all this stuff, you get a lot of points. So I'm sucking it up, feeling incredibly awkward and getting lots of good free points. So I'm done getting my hair done. I am wearing a hat, not because the color looks bad, but because my makeup gets kind of wonky afterwards and we have some errands to run. And plus, I have to support the Cardinals in the NLCS right now, which they won game two today. Did you check about that? <laughs> Did I? <t> <laughs>
Did I talk about that? <laughs> I'm guessing he did. Um, yeah, so we just stopped at Starbucks and I got a pumpkin spice latte, which everyone has to do this time of year. And I told Lucas it tastes like a pumpkin pie, which, okay, for those of you who don't know, Lucas is not a coffee drinker. He despises coffee with every ounce of his being, but he said he's willing to try it but only if I vlog it. <laughs> so here you go, we'll see what he has to say, if it tastes like a pumpkin pie or not, and if he tastes the coffee. So let me say this, people, coffee drinkers who get the caramel jibby jobbers and everything like that, they're always like, oh, it tastes just like caramel, or in this case, oh, it tastes just like pumpkin pie. Now let me say, I don't doubt you that you can taste pumpkin pie. The problem is, I taste, I will probably taste pumpkin pie and coffee. That's the problem. I taste the and coffee that you people don't tell me about. It's the same with like, like alcoholic drinks. Like when people mix that stuff and they're like, oh, you don't, you don't even like taste the alcohol. It just tastes like some fruity drink. That's no, because you can still taste that. And like, it's all you smell and all you taste and it's disgusting. And I don't know how you people don't taste that. So anyway. My coffee's getting cold right now. Here we go. <laughs> I'm going to taste this that apparently tastes just like pumpkin pie. <laughs> I mean, it smells like pumpkin pie, I'll give you that. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jesus. Oh, oh! <laughs> really? It's so bitter! It's, it's just so bitter like coffee, I don't get it. Did you taste the pumpkin? There's a little bit of pumpkin. But a lot of coffee. Oh, and then, oh, and then it just sits there and just tastes <laughs> like coffee. Do we need to go get you a Dr. Pepper? Now we do. <laughs> I was fine before. Oh, shame on you, Starbucks. Sorry. And shame on you, Chelsea. Sorry. You should know better. Sorry. And shame on me, because I should have known better, because every time I do this, this happens. One more drink? No. <laughs> why am I so happy, you were asking? Yes, why? Because I just watched the Cardinals win so they could go to the World Series. What up, players? Cardinals are going to the World Series. Yeah. You. We were in a restaurant when they won, and so we had to like hold back our excitement because everyone's Dodgers fans around us and they're all really sad and so we were trying to be polite and not celebrate in front of them so now we just walked out and we're like yeah what up <laughs> what up LA what up Dodgers fans seriously whose feet are shaped like this how do you wear that very carefully I mean it's not like it's a high heel it's like a <laughs> you gotta have u-shaped feet I don't have u-shaped feet that don't make no sense. Lucas is throwing a fit in Target. <laughs> Let's hear a loud noise. It was not loud. Where are you going? Where are you going? Uh, are you embarrassed to be around me in public places? Yes. I would be too. Chelsea has a comment song. I've never heard it. But she says everyone knows it. Sing your comment song. I don't know exactly how it goes. We'll just sing the part that you know. Loudly. Comment. It makes you vomit. So good comet and vomit today. That's all I know of it. I think there's more. That can't be like the actual slogan. If you eat this, you will vomit. So you should buy it? Mm-hmm. But don't eat it. Well then why do you want to buy it? To cling. Oh. Well they should throw something about that into the jingle. About how it cleans. So good comet and 
Man today. Maybe you can clean up your vomit with Comet. You probably could. Yeah. I think that's what they meant, that you can clean up your vomit with Comet. There. Mystery solved. Hey, look. It's off-season baseball stuff. Bozzy's excited too. Bozzy might be a bigger Cardinal fan than I am. National League champions. See, that's the benefit of buying like specific um, celebratory Cardinals clothing. Because like this, I bought this one two years ago when they won the National League Championship Series. Most teams, you'd be like, oh man, that's only going to be good for that year because, you know, when are they going to win the National League Championship again? Well, the Cardinals won it two years later. And they're probably going to win it next year and the year after that and the year after that. Because they're the awesome. That. What are you crying for? He's not crying, he's excited. Oh. <laughs> he's like, guys, the Cardinals won! Guys! Hey, guys! Is that, is that how hey he talks? Guys. Hey guys! Yeah! I hear you, dude! Yeah.